Hello all, welcome back to ILO PhD. In this video, I'm going to explain what is UGC CAR, what are all the types of UGC CAR list of journals and how to find UGC CAR list of journals. Please stick around the whole video to get the complete information. Also, don't forget to subscribe ILO PhD for more research related videos. Let's get started. What is UGC CARE? UGC CARE in this CARE is a consortium for academic and research ethics which was formed by UGC University Grant Commission in order to ensure the prevention of academic misconducts. This academic misconducts are such as plagiarism in academic writing among students, faculties and researchers. Also it was formed to promote a quality research work, improve the academic integrity and publication ethics among all Indian universities. What is UGC CARE list of journals? The journals under this UGC CARE list are considered to be the quality journals recognized by this consortium. It is majorly divided into two groups that is journals found qualified through UGC CARE protocols are called UGC CARE list group 1 and some journals are indexed in globally recognized databases such as Scopus and Web of Science databases are called UGC CARE list group 2. Previously it was four groups namely group A, group B, group C and group D. Now in order to simplify the search process it is reduced into two groups. How often UGC CARE list is updated? UGC CARE list is a dynamic list. It will be updated in every three months. Usually, it will be updated on 1st of January, April, July and October months in the year. Let's see how to find this UGC CARE list of journals. Okay, let's go to Google. Type UGC CARE list. Just type UGC CARE list in the Google search bar. You will get a result in the first link UGC approved list of journals. You just click that one. That is the official website to UGC University Grant Commission. In this you will get one link UGC approved list of journals. Just click this link. So UGC created a uh, separate website for UGC CARE. So the main reason is there are so many fake websites imposing uni, uh, university grant commission website. Uh, you can see the notification here. Uh, what they're doing is they request people to submit their manuscripts to their website and they will tell uh, what kind of uh, journal is suitable to their manuscript. So in order to avoid that UGC created a special website, separate website to our UGC care. In this you will get more information about this. So in this website you will get uh, important notifications and list of journals and everything to see the UGC care list of journals uh, group 1 and group 2 just click this uh, UGC care list and search UGC care list so it will take you into the registration area so in order to access this group 1 and group 2 list of journals you need to register so this will take you into user registration area so here you have to register your credentials like uh, you have to fill the, all the particulars and give submit upon submitting it you will get a access you will get a user id and uh, using a password you can log in with the account once you logged in now you can access the list of journals just click ugc care list and uh, click search ugc care list so in this page you, you in this page you can see the information about ugc care list group 1 journal informations and group 2 journal informations UGC care list group 1 search so it will take you into list of journals which are under UGC care list group 1 so this is a UGC care list journals okay you can search the particular journals information using the ISSN number or journal name uh, you can search by group 1 and group 2. I am just selecting group 1 journals. The journals in UGC CAD list are added and removed dynamically. So that's what you can see here recently added journals. Some of the journals are added recently uh, into this UGC group 1 and some of the journals are removed from UGC group 1. 
so this is a group one list of journals in this uh, science social science arts and humanities multidisciplinary journals and so many informations are available you can search by the discipline title I, you can search by the title issa number publisher subject or language of the publication so you have so many options to identify the journal which is in the group one list so next we moving into group 2 list of journals so that is about a ugc care list group 1 journals group 2 journals are journals indexed in globally recognized database these journals are part of ugc care list as a group 2 and searchable through the following links like uh, if uh, the journals which are indexed under web of science journals are under group 2 and scopus journals and mla indexed journals so how to identify web of science journals we have already created a video to how to find sa indexed journals so it will be useful for you to know how to how to find ugc care list of journals which are under the web of science the second one is scopus index journals so if you don't know how to find scopus index journals you can use this link how to identify uh, scopus index journals you can you just see this video and you will be able to know how to find scopus journals so also some journals are indexed in scopus but that are not under the group 2 journals so some of the journals are removed from ugc care list even though those journals are listed under scopus so those links are available here list of journals removed from group 2 index scopus database so the main reason is ugc care received complaints about several journals which are not following the standards of publishing some journals are not following the publication practices uh, proper peer review process and so on and so forth so based on this activity uh, ugc removed some of the journals so those journals are available here totally uh, 71 entries are there you can find all the journals in our website okay list of scopus index journals removed from ugc care all the 71 journals information issn number and that publication name everything is available in this page the third thing is mla index journals that is a modern language association or also considered to be the group 2 journals some of the journals you could not see here in the mla list because most of the journals in mla are already indexed in scopus and web of science these are all the globally recognized databases which are under the ugc list group 2 journals so on some further information the journals which are discontinued or inactive from about database will not find uh, a place in group 2 journals so if the journal is not indexed in web of science and scopus or mla those journals are not under the group 2 group 2 list so you have to verify it in the group 1 list whether the journal is in the group 1 list or not if the journal is also not in the group 1 list then so you should not go with it in this way you will be able to find ugc group 1 list of journals and group 2 list of journals Please subscribe to Ilo PhD for more research related videos. Thank you.